All right, yeah. Well, we, we got done getting over hump day, yep. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, one more day we Friday, and for next time, you know, the weekend be here. Yeah. Man, just a couple, about a week and now, it'll be March. Well, we got leap year this year. Yeah, this is the year we have leap year, 29th. <laughs> Imagine someone has their birthday at 29th. I wonder what happens if, you ha if you're born on February 29th. What do you do? Have your birthday like March 1st and leave your like, oh, I think I'm on my birthday on February 29th. <laughs> I wonder if anybody has ever done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's kind of amazed me? I got some of my co couple of my co-workers hooked up on these, you know, these uh, amendment right auditor channels or that knows your rights like that. So yeah, I was, you know what, I was actually teaching a couple of my co-workers. Uh, one of us, really, he was really fascinated with somebody working, my co-worker Steve. Yeah. And it kind of came in happy uh, later. We'll discuss that later, but for now, yeah. So I, so yeah, I would record it too, you know. Oh yeah, shit got pretty fucked up, you know. I was gonna record, but I realized my phone was dead. <laughs> yeah, it was fully charged, but then I just recorded uh, when PHI went live this morning. She had actually had a panel because normal time, mo most of the time when she does in morning times, she does like a dry stream, like in, in her rig in her her vehicle or I think her car or something like that but this time she did the panel so I so I watched it got got some clips of it and I think one or two other bonus clips because I had to get ready to go to work <laughs> and I was actually spent quite a bit this morning actually loading unloading I had to, basically I had spent the first three hours just on loading up some trucks unloading basically yeah so yeah to load and load stuff had to go in stuff had to go out <laughs> yeah and I put my earbuds on, just listen to my podcast. That's what I do, what I do with my podcast. That's why I do it up. I can get Wi Fi, my word, just listen to my podcast, just do it now. Boy, I think, oh yeah, I love shit like that. Next thing I know, three hours later, come, come lunchtime, I know my phone's like down like 22%. I think, oh, I better save it up. <laughs> yeah. After work, I was like, oh, fuck, my phone's dead, Steve. He said, oh, I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. So there was a couple. We were watching some good ones, actually. And I explained to him, there was actually a couple of ones, actually. Especially my, people talk about my so-called failed audit. Well, it wasn't, it was not a failed audit. Because I didn't go to jail for like that. I mean, guess what? It's not like people talk about was criminal trespassing. No, I even know it's probably once I found out, I left. But yeah. But just amaze me what I'm going to talk about it, too. You could you stupid Karen and Darren that use the government services, you know, like the emergency lines and shit like that. You know, and they raise it up, say like that. Like I talked, I did a video months ago. Probably had to go back on it. I think it's like four or five months ago, maybe six. Did about First Amendment, you know, of public photography. Months ago, there was a guy called, uh, you know, Slow Observator, who was doing a first, conducting a First Amendment audit. And he was on the public sidewalk and people were, were calling the cops on him, saying he had a gun, he's filming the kids. They were talking, saying this guy's a child molester, or, uh, that he's a convicted rate of sex offender. Yeah, boy. It amazes me how people love to throw that word around, say someone's a pedophile or a chomo or a rapist, or say they're on the list and they're, they're dangerous registered sex offenders when they're not. Yeah, yeah, amazes me. So I was watching this one video, and this one guy, and these cops show up here. I guess I didn't know I've heard of a, a pre uh, coordination like that. Officers will say, let's say you get arrested and you get bonded out, or you get released on your own conscience. I've never heard of a cops coming to your house before you even go to your first fucking court case or your indictment coming to your house, tell you what your conditions are. There's one on that channel. Where a cop was sitting there saying, oh, why are you filming the kids? You can't be filming the kids. That's part of your condition. Guy's like, what are you talking about? So I wasn't filming no kids. I mean, it's crazy what cops would make a, like when there's a traffic stop or shit like that. Yeah, crazy. Absolutely crazy, yeah. So I watched that. I was like, my goodness, what the hell is the world coming down to? 
I mean, you always hear like people scream about, you know, how kids or children are off limits no matter what. Well, when you're a public citizen, you can go to anything, anything the eyes can see. When you're a public citizen, it doesn't matter what it is. You can film the trees, the birds, the light poles, the telephone poles, the corner market, the, a house, apartment complex, a car going by like right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Yep. Exercise my first amendment right now. Freedom of press, baby. Freedom of press. Public photography's not a crime, see? Oh, yeah. Film some trees, some light posts, some condos. Yep. Exercise my first amendment right now. Public photography is not a crime. Anyways, yeah. I mean, it's crazy what people talk about. You know, I was watching this one clip. Oh, my goodness, boy. It was a kind of a pretty epic one. Holy macro. It was a guy who went to um, a building with a bunch of state attorneys like that. And these women, they didn't just call 911. You know what they did? They pressed an emergency button. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck call, who the calls 911 exaggerating shit? Push an emergency button over a dude or a couple guys who are just doing nothing except taking pictures in a public building and video recording. It's like, what the fuck is this world coming down to? I mean, I did this story on a couple of people, you know who. If you know, you know. If you don't, well, you can find out. People were commenting about, you know, how public talk should be illegal, all that shit, or it should be a crime, or only stalking, only people that take their cameras out or cell phones out in public, only people that go out there take pictures or record like this, or people that stalk and harass are very creepy people. Yeah. It's 2024. Boy, people are just using that term as well, ladies and gentlemen. Stalking and harassing. And people that, you know, that are just, you know, filming out public or watching other people's videos on a public platform or subscribing that, oh, these people are very creepy. Or you make community posts, you know, doing a rebuttal retort, addressing some nefarious lies and some fuckery. Yeah. Fucking gone wild. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. People just, you got some people just love to throw that term around. Stalking, harassing, stalking, harassing. Very creepy. Or this guy, or these people are such creepers. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. The guy was out there, and the woman, the woman exaggerated in, in the clip that the guy was trying to get her personal information. Like, first of all, the guy wasn't, I saw in the field. I and mean, if he was, that's, that's not harassment. That's not against a crime. And sit in a parking lot, at a public parking lot, in your, in your car, your vehicle, or sit on the sidewalk, just taking pictures and recording, like right now, or me standing in the park, just filming the cars going by, just shooting, pissing the wind, shooting the shit. Oh, that's not stalking harassment. That's not being very creepy. But we know that some people are going to say otherwise. Well, you know what? They can have at it and, and they can ride the balls to the wall. I don't care. Anyway, so I talk about that. And then, you know, the guy got arrested. And he was held for 24 hours. And the, the, yeah, and guess what happened? He got released and the judge just missed a charge. You know why the judge just missed a charge? Because the, the judge knew it was bullshit. Yeah, and they knew that those ladies exaggerated by per calling 911 and pushing the emergency button like a panic mode. Like, what the fuck are these? What the fuck is people coming down to nowadays? Exaggerate calling a nine, calling an emergency number. You know, send everything you got. We got a, we got a code three here. We got a man with a, with a, we got a man armed with a can, uh, with a gun with just a freaking camera. And you got people going there. Why are you filming the kids? Shit like that. Anyway, so I talk about that to about this. So my friend, uh, my coworker, my friend Steve got off work. And he's like, "Hey, bro, you hungry? We got a, well, we actually got a pretty decent time. Normally, I usually don't get up till four or five. We got a pretty early day, just maybe quarter to three. So we finished up early, and there was nothing else to do. It was a rare, quiet day at work. So we got up at quarter to three. He's like, "Bro, you hungry? I was like, yeah, "I'm fucking pretty hungry." So, hey, let's go across the street, go walk in the Jack in the Box." So then also he got his phone up. He just started recording the ground and putting like, you know, we're just filming up and, and you know, doing some cars or like sometimes putting on another. We're just fucking around with it like that. I say, hey, bro, you recording? Like, hell yeah. Nothing wrong with it. 
First Amendment protect your, protect your activity. Like, there you go, bro. Fucking more power. You see if I fucking get fist bumping. Like, hell yeah, you can do it like that. So, yeah, then we just poured it on the ground. Nobody said nothing on Jack and Box recording like that. So I got a couple of Jack burgers, a bacon cheeseburger. He, I think he got like a, a combo meal, like one of those good ones, you know, the uh, sourdough bacon and, yeah, cheese one. Boy, it looked good. So, yeah, he, he got some fries like that. He supersized that. He said, you want some of my fries? Like, yeah, I want some. Yeah. yeah. There was like a gas station right next to it. I didn't want no soda from there. So I just went down the gas Went down the, the gas station corner of my, got one of those 20 ounce sodas for like, it was like buck 69 like that. It was a Pepsi one, like a cherry Pepsi one. I was like, hell yeah, eat my burgers. Left. We're just shooting the shit, pissing the wind. We're just talking about, we were talking about sports, chicks, about just guys, you know, smoking dabs, room, drinking brews. You know, I don't smoke dab. We're just, we're just like back, just pissing around shit like that. And this fucking dumbass chick, not right, didn't walk, we're at the bus stop. We're waiting for the bus. Some chick called across the street. Stop freaking out where we're saying we weren't talking about her we just talk about you know guy shit sports all that shit just regular guy shit you know bro shit and she just started freaking out like think we're like we're my friend steve's recording her and he wasn't he's was pointing the ground and turning like sometimes he turned around camera and point up and we're just like that yeah she's all talking about that shit first she comes up there her bitch and be like what are you guys talking about what are you guys talking about like we're just talking guy shit like that and she started accusing him of taking pictures of stalking her like that. He said, I'm not taking your, I said, I'm not filming you. I'm not taking your picture. And if I was, we're on the public sidewalk. It's nothing. I said, you're on the public, sweetheart. You're on expectation. Like, and she said, oh, you guys are fucking creeps. We guys are creeper. Then she called the cops, you know. Yeah. Bitch called the fucking cops on us. Kyle, we're just sitting there like, wow. Okay, here we go. We got another. I said, bro, here we go. We got another fucking Karen. I said, what? He said, man. Bitches like these, so fuck yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he made a smart remark. He's like, man, that fucking bitch needs to shut the fuck up, man. She needs to dick in her mouth. I'm like, oh, bro, it's all right. Yeah. And the fucking nutty, the nutty fucking dusty broad and, uh, lied to the cops. My friend Steve uh, saying that, oh, my friend Steve threatened to bend her over and take her by the helmet and fucking shove it and rape her and shit like that. Like, whoa. I say... All he, I said, all my friend was talking about, I was like, this bitch needs to shut the fuck up and have a dick in her mouth, you know, and, you know, then he went up to her, I was like, bitch, shut the fuck up, you nasty slut, <laughs> that's all he said, the cops were demanding on D's and stuff like that, I was like, we didn't do nothing wrong, we didn't say, I said, okay, officer, what reasonable, articulate suspicion of a crime have you suspected that we, that we have commit, already committing, or about to commit? And he said, well, we got a call, blah, 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 blah. I said, no, that's not good enough. Or, yeah, you got to call by a suspicious person. Or you guys, guys got bad. Dude, two suspicious dudes at the bus. I said, well, I said, well, I said dude, we're waiting for the bus. It's going to be here less than five minutes. Well, that dumbass, yeah. And then it was like, then all of a sudden, two more cops out there. And these were five cops. You know what? I mean, come on. I guess five cops there sure don't learn, learn the lessons about being shady and corrupt. I mean, fuck, it was 20 years ago. Uh, three police officers and the detective were accused of planting drugs, you know, and making a falsify arrest, and they got fired. Well, I'm starting to wonder if I really learned their lesson or not. Back in the old day, Pierce County Sheriff's Department used to do shit like that back in, in the 80s and 90s. They would target women and make women perform se oral sexual acts, or they go to jail. And it's like, basically, he had these cops having tripping power. They got a gun, a badge, and qualified immunity and say, Either you have sex with me, or I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna fuck up your life and take your ass to jail. And cops are still doing that this, this day. So these cops were trying to do a fishing expedition on trying to us like that. He didn't get our IDs, and the bus showed up. I said, "Well, I'm out of here." Like <laughs> I say, I was like, well, "I'm out of here." I was like, I told the officer, "Hey, you have a nice day." He's like, "Come on, Steve." Like that. I said, "No, you can go, but you're being detained." So like, what the fuck, man? The cop told me, "He's like, get on the bus right now, or you're gonna." I was like, "I'm gonna put you in cuffs too." Like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> fuck yeah. So, yeah, I wish I had my fucking camera go like that, but yeah. And he, fuck yeah, he was fucking fucked up. And he, yeah, and they didn't just detain him, they put him in handcuffs, trying to interrogate his ass and shit like that, all kind of crazy like that. Finally, got a, he finally tested me early, or later. He said, yeah, they had him handcuffed, and they put him back in a squad car for like a fucking half an hour. And they're trying to get a statement from this chick. She kept making lies, say we're stalking, harassing her. That she felt uncomfortable, and we were just two dudes being dudes at the bus stop, you know, eating on jack in the box food and shit like that, you know. And I, I wasn't gonna, so 
I would have helped out my Steve. I said, hey, well, I'll catch the next bus. I'll, I'll, I got you. I got your six, bro. But the cop told me to get on the bus. I'll put you in cuffs. He was like, all right, I'm out of here. Plus, I had to get home to go to Costco anyways. Yeah. Bunch of bullshit shenanigans. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Man, I got to drop this and see what kind of comments and reaction I can get out of this. From the puppy man. <laughs> hey, you know what I heard you out last night? I heard Pooh Boy got... I don't know, it was last night or the night before. I heard that he supposedly he was trying to do a First Amendment poo job. And some cops come around. No, the first time they showed up, he was live on his panel like that. And then the second time, he was on shizzles. I guess they came back with not pissed. They were fucking pissed off. And I guess they arrested him. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. <gasps> fellow cops said, hey, that rent a cop arrested you? No, it was a rent a cop fellow. It was, it was two dudes. It was a sheriff's department. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the thing, sheriff. I mean, uh, yeah, police officers from the sheriff's department—they're worse, man. They're fucking—I mean, they're tyrants versus local police officers like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering who got that. Anton got it, and I made a nice little copy with my narrative about it. <laughs> I'll drop it later. All right, I'm out of here. My job. Peace out.